I'm we hit it in, shark bit. Are you afraid if I have a reaction, my, my people will sue you? Well, yeah. No, <laughs> if I have pain, I'm going to sue you. So give me the you're going to take too many of them. We got our sifters today for the shark bit. <laughs> This could be the stingray pit too. We climb this mountain right here. Then he's got a sifter. He never use it, but he's gonna try her out today. He been talking for 12 minutes or longer. So far I got one, what's it? A big fat what's it? Sounds good. That's all I can say about it. It don't look very good, but it sounds good. The mumbles man is a long ways behind me. And Jim is on the edge of the shore. Well, there's a button of some sort. Modern day button, I think. We'll find no holes around here. Like that. That's a pretty button though, ain't it? It's got an eagle on it. This is some kind of bling thing or what? It's got a, like a little star there. That fell off of it. There's another star right there. It's all hooked together like a chain all balled up or something. I don't know what it is. Stand by. I got some 22, one or two, some a little bit bigger shell cases and a, uh, some kind of bling big doodad thing. Yeah. I got a dime and a penny or two. I got a couple dimes, a couple nickels, a couple pennies. Yeah. I'm right. Six of those 22 shells, thanks for that thing. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I got four, five, six, two. Well, let's head on back. Oh, I got no sinkers. He said he was going home and put it, get his ass caliber, but looks like to me he's got CPX. He talked to everybody all day long. <laughs> Big Rick said he had a little teeny one. Yeah, I know, he told me that. Ring. Sub Scout Ring. How about that? I like it. 
Look at that, Cub Scouts. Ah, that's a nice ticket right there. Jim's got something up here, we've got to go and see what he's got. Before we get around around up, let's crack this wasset. We had that one big, I don't think it's nothing but a big piece of aluminum or something, but we'll see. You just never can tell. That's what it looks like, pure crap. Yep, they'll junk up. While we're here, we got these three from the other day, from the last week or whatever it was. We might have cracked them too. That's some kind of piece of metal. You can see it looks like a wire. One of the things to hold wire up with. Okay, let's see. I don't think this was nothing, but some kind of little piece of junky thing. Yep, it looks like a nail or something right there. You see it? A fragment of a nail or something. Okay, we got that out of the way. All right, roundup. Piece of aluminum, four pennies, two dimes, no quarters, no nickels. A button. I showed you when we found it. Marine Corps, Navy, but it's modern, I'm sure, with a with a hole like that. But I don't really know. So you button gurus, you uh, give me some information, some advice. An old swimming swimming suit buckle. I like to find them. Couple 22s, three, 320, no, two 22s, and a whatever that is. An old spark plug. And this is that doodad thing that's falling apart as we speak. And this Cub Scout ring. I cleaned the Cub Scout ring up a little bit. It's pretty cool. That's only the second one of these I ever found. And both of them come from the same spot. About a mile and a half east of here, we had a Boy Scout beach camp back in the 40s and 50s. We found some Boy Scout rings there, but never any Cub Scout rings. It's a nice little taquita. That, what's the name a couple of times, it's just pieces of more of that same kind of bling stuff. Okay. See you tomorrow. Surf Church. Well, we got Jim's ring checked out. It's, uh, it says spikes. Spikes with spikes right there. And below it it says stainless steel. It's got five diamonds. Bad. Just glass doodads. It's a pretty little ring. Right? Nice design. Two days, three rings. The man from Waterloo. I think he's going to Ocean City tomorrow. See if he can run up with Beach Nut. Or either Monday. I'm not sure where he's going. But either tomorrow or Monday. Okay. Stand by. For Surf Church Sunday. <laughs>